I um, just changed the uh, servo in this Delotel wing to the H51B which has the latest uh, firmware. Now uh, you can see the Elron doesn't use push rods. What you see here is the boost tab with a push rod as per scale. And since the original doesn't have push rods on the outside, I had to devise a different way. The Elron has a torque tube, I suppose, not a tube, but a torque rod across, and it links directly with this device. The, the Elron has three ball bearing system, and then this device, I don't know if you can see it okay, uh, I fabricated so that I could adapt it to the servo and work as a torque. Uh, one hand again, so bear with me. I'm going to. Uh... Welcome to work, TX. Throttle warning. Switch warning. Now, I need to put the power on this. Sorry for my clumsiness. Okay, time to put the camera down. I'll leave it running. My mistake. Reverse power. There. Okay, now the Elron is back. Sorry about the clumsiness, but it is what it is. I don't have a photographer. So here goes. And if I back away. The servo is direct drive, but it's a humongous powerful servo at 790, I believe, 790 some odd ounce of torque. So it seems okay. And I, and I slowed it down. It's way too fast for this operation. So I slowed it down by one full second, but you, you don't see it really here. And, uh, I um, modified the uh, the travel by 50% because it just was going too far. That's it. That's it. Yes, you can see it's in my living room. <laughs> the joy of living alone.